Now on to the Mesoarchean. April 15th marks the oldest fossils that have been found of bacteria. Straddling the Paleoarchean and the Neoarchean was an evolutionary advancement that enabled these initial prokaryotes to use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to produce sugars for food along with oxygen. What process is this? It's something that plants do. It's photosynthesis. Is photosynthesis important to you? Well, it should be, because without it, we would have no oxygen and we would not be able to breathe. These photosynthetic organisms were cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria would introduce oxygen into our atmosphere, which would eventually create our protective ozone in which organisms could live. When we discuss evolution, we are talking about changes or mutations that took thousands to millions of years to happen. Evolution does not just happen overnight. One scientist did a study, a highly speeded up equivalent of geologic time. They put a strain of E. coli into 12 flasks. Each flask contained the exact same broth, which was made up of glucose and citrate. Each flask was referred to as a tribe. Glucose was their food source. Every day, they would be put into a new flask with fresh broth. The bacteria's population would skyrocket in the beginning of the day and stabilize as they ran out of glucose. This experiment has been going on for over 20 years. That is 7,000 flask generations and 45,000 bacterial generations they have about six generations per day. If this experiment was performed on humans, 45,000 generations back would be about 1 million years ago. Shortly after generation 33,000, one of the tribe's population suddenly went berserk. They discovered how to consume the citrate. The E. coli had to develop two mutations in order to consume the citrate, referred to as mutation A and mutation B. Mutation A would prime the bacteria to take advantage of mutation B when it came along, but both mutations had to be there in order for the E. coli to consume the citrate. 